and then we see uh, North coming from the North Korean side now. There is Kim Jong Un. Yes. Descending the steps. This is uh, this is the moment we've been waiting for. He's going to walk down there, cross that sort of uh, open area there, head towards those blue buildings, and running between those buildings is the actual line itself. There he is, surrounded by a phalanx of, uh, I don't know whether it was uh, dignitaries or security, hard to tell. As you were pointing out just now, soldiers are yes. standing there in suits, mm -hmm. where, in, where soldiers would be. Riding out on his own. And let's just uh, embrace this moment and uh, listen. Kim Jong-un and Moon Jae-in together on the southern side. An extraordinary moment coming across, shaking hands, and then that step across the concrete. I, it, it's probably a good time to bring in Mike Chinoy uh, in Hong Kong, a senior fellow with the US-China Institute at the University of Southern California. And as I remember you, Mike Chinoy, a former CNN correspondent, you know this area well. What do you make of that, what we just saw? Well, this this is a quite an extraordinary moment, and I think one, one of the things that you've been seeing in this whole process is how incredibly politically skillful Kim Jong-un is. And, and if you noticed, after the two men stepped, after he stepped across the line, the demarcation line, and shook Moon Jae-in's hand, he then invited Moon Jae-in to step across the line back into the North Korean side, which I think is a very interesting symbolic gesture and also clearly intended to, to play to the cameras. So I think part of what we're seeing here is just how extraordinarily sophisticated Kim Jong-un has turned out to be, contrary to much of the speculation about him and his regime over a long period of time. And Mike, I wonder if that was something, given the finer points of this summit have been addressed and considered in such detail, I wonder if that is something that had been agreed between both sides previously, because of course if it hadn't, that is certainly quite an unexpected display of dominance, possibly on Kim Jong-un's behalf. Well, there's no way to know, uh, but I think it just shows that he's very... Uh, uh, capable of sort of playing to the cameras, understands the, the, the importance of the visual uh, impact uh, of this whole, this whole process of trying to build a, a, a new and better relationship with South Korea leading, uh, I, I think it's clear he hopes, to a new and better relationship with the United States. And what we're seeing there is uh, traditional uh, guards uh, who have uh, greeted and they are walking towards the Peace House for the formal welcoming ceremony. Let's listen.